about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know Welcome back to Kiana's Creative Closet. Today, my loves, we're doing another H&M haul. I know, I know, I always say another H&M haul because H&M is one of the main hauls that goes on on this channel. Um, if you've been watching for a while, y'all know that I love H&M. I love that it's affordable, but yet quality and chic and trendy pieces. So, hands down, I'm going to always go back to H&M. Um, I was hating the shipment, the shipping um, here lately. They have been doing much better. Um, they had kind of took a down, um, a downhill turn during the panoramic <laughs> or panorama or whatever people are calling it. Um, they had took a downfall, or their shipping quality had really um, went downhill. Um, but it stayed that way <laughs> um, for the last year and a half, but I must say the last few orders that I have gotten in have been very timely. Um, they have been shipping things out within a day or two of you ordering. I ordered something late Sunday night, late Sunday evening actually, and I, I, it actually shipped out the following morning. And I was like surprised because that was like unheard of. Um, with H&M for like a whole year straight, but I'm glad they're back um, to their regular shipping standards, so I definitely will be shopping with them. So, um, they have been killing it with sales, y'all. They have been killing it every week. They have been coming out with some type of sale, anywhere from 10% to 20% off. So I had to take advantage of that. I have a revolving, a just a revolving cart on H&M. I always have something in my cart. So I take that opportunity when those sales hit to go ahead and purchase um, something in my cart. Um, and yes, I am the type that I will go on the website every day, add things to the cart. And when I'm ready to buy or when I feel like I want to jump the gun, that's when I go ahead and make the purchase. So, um, I've been shopping lately for fall items. I know that we are basically just into the summer, but I like to shop a season ahead. So, being as though we are kind of like a month into summer, um, I'm starting to look for fall pieces. Now, I know we're not going to get a lot of fall pieces as of yet. We probably don't really start seeing a lot, a lot of fall pieces um, trickle in into maybe the end of August. Um, going into September but you can find pieces on different sites now far as your outerwear not heavy outerwear but like your blazers um, your vest your your light um, your light knitwear you can find on certain sites you just have to be looking for it. so that's what I have been doing so if you think there's something you're interested in seeing stay tuned for the video but before we do that, you already know, if you are new here and you love fashion like your girl does, please subscribe down below. Turn on your notifications so you can be notified of my up and coming videos. If you are already a subscriber of mine, y'all know I love y'all. Thanks for the continued support and welcome back my loves. Alright, let's jump into the video. Okay y'all, so before I show you my first piece, I want you to go ahead right now and hit that like button. <laughs> I really want you to hit that like button because I really think that you're going to enjoy the pieces that I've shown you today. And if you have already been here and you already are a supporter, you know we give you the good stuff over here. So go ahead and hit the like button. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, I'm just kidding, but serious at the same time. <laughs> um, the first piece I'm going to show you are these shorts here. Now, if you have been watching your girl, you know how I feel about a good sweatshirt. Um, and these are in a perfect color. I have been feeling all shades of browns um, here lately. This is more of a taupey, not even a taupey, it's just more of a lighter brown, kind of like a mocha brown. And I'm loving it. Um, I tried these on in store, but I tried them on in a yellow color. I have yet to see the yellow color hit um online it has not 
um, surfaced online yet, so I'm not sure if it was a store exclusive. But I did find them in this color on online on H&M.com. Um, the yellow, I opted out of getting those because I already have a pair of pale yellow shorts that were similar. Um, the difference in these um, than my regular ones, uh, these have the raw hem at the bottom. So it's just like a cut off hem. It does have the drawstring. Some of my um, sweatshorts have drawstrings and some of them do not. It's a elastic waistband, very, very comfy. This is a Bermuda um, type of length. Um, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I tried these on a few days ago, so, yes, they are Bermuda's, um, left on me. Now, when I tried them in, on in the store, this is in a size XXL. Yes, isn't it? Yes, it's in an XXL. When I tried it on in the store, it was an XXL. I felt like the XXL was a little too big in the stomach and kind of like crotch area, so... And it's just was a weird fit on the leg, the way it kind of comes out at the bottom. I told y'all, if y'all been watching me with the sweatshorts, I like them. I don't like when you they're kind of fitted in the thigh. And that always happens with me because I have big thighs, thunder thighs, honey. So I, I always get like a fitted, when, like any type of loose short. Um, I always get like a fitted a little bit in the in the thigh and then it'll come out a little bit at the bottom and I hate it so with these type of shorts I'd rather go down a size to have it more fitted and you know all the way around instead of having that um, extra um, width at the bottom of the shorts so I wish I would have got gotten them in an extra large but they are XXL so I will only be wearing these and more of a casual type of look when I'm running errands, going to the grocery store, um, just anywhere that I'm going for a quick um, hop and skip or if I'm just going around the family to chill. This is a perfect color. I have been looking for colors like this that I can wear with my Gucci Mills. Um, well, not Gucci Mills, Gucci platform slides. I do not get enough wear out of those shoes for the amount that I pay for them because I don't have a lot to wear with um the shoe so i've been picking up items like this so that'll go perfect okay my love so y'all know how i feel about a good blazer um y'all know that i love blazers y'all know that in every haul just about if i could <laughs> i would have a blazer but you already see how many i have behind me and that's not even tipping the surface because i have a ton more in my winter clothes in the basement i have way more winter blazers than i have spring and summer but i decided to pick this one up from h and m now this one is the same as the black one that i showed you in my previous h and m haul and i told you in that haul that that black blazer to me really mimic linen like a linen style blazer i said that if it wasn't if it didn't have linen already run through it some way that it was very reminiscent the fabric was very reminiscent of um linen and that's why i decided to get this one this one is a double breasted y'all also know how i feel about double breasted blazers double breasted blazers sells me all the time um i just love a good double breasted blazer whether it's high end or rather i'm getting it from the thrift store now you will see if you can see all of this behind me i have quite a few blazers or vests or over shirts in this color so when i got it i was a little on the fence on if i was going to keep it the reason why I am going to keep it because I like the fit. The fit is more of a, not oversized, but just at the borderline of oversized. It's like a comfortable, um, relaxed fit, but it's pushing on a tad bit oversized. And I love that for the spring and summer. Um, and I also decided to keep it because... It's very lightweight. So all of the other um, blazers that I have up here, I even have linen blazers. 
behind me in the same color um color family but this one is a very very lightweight so i can get away with wearing this blazer on one of those days when it's not too hot even on one of those days i feel like um 80 degrees you know um in the morning or midday not even midday gets a little warm but like morning or evening um this will be perfect um, I love to wear blazers, um, even in the summertime when I'm going out to dinner, especially with us eating outside nowadays. It's perfect to have something like this to throw on. I love it. The only thing I wish is that it had functional pockets. Um, my girl Tasha got this, um, these blazers. She got this blazer in the black. I had the black already, and she has the black as well. I just watched her um, video. Go check her out, Tasha B. Styles. Um, but she said the same thing. That's the only thing that's missing is a functional pocket. And this is in an XXL, if I didn't say so. Okay, so I love that one so much, and I love the black so much, so I had to pick it up in every color. So I also got it in a lavender color. Well, I didn't pick it up in every color because they also had it in black. I mean, not black, I'm sorry, white. But I'm not real fond of soch white pieces. Um, the only soch white piece blazer that I have is this. You probably can see it a little bit. It's that, and I just picked that up recently, and that is not a whole blazer. It's a sleeveless vest style blazer. Um, so I didn't pick up the white, but I picked up the, the tan, I mean, the cream. I picked up the black, and now the lavender now I also have a lavender blazer that's behind me and you will have seen that in a previous styling video actually the video that I did with Tasha um, the collab video where we did um, I think it was chic casual wear so I wore that already which if you can see they are two different color purples now it looks like on screen they come up as kind of like the same, and they're not. This one is more of a vibrant. I mean, it may look washed out because of the light, but this is more of a vibrant lavender, and this one to me is more of a pinky lavender with like a pink undertone. This one is more of a blue undertone, so yeah. This to me is more of... Um, a neutral tone lavender <laughs> if I may say I mean purple is purple lavender is lavender y'all know how I feel about purple all shades of purple so it didn't matter to me um, it's, this is going to serve a purpose and this is going to serve a purpose and the reason why I knew that I would be okay with it is because this one is a looser fit it's the same fit in the same size of XXL as the one I just shown you and this one, the one I had previously, is more of a fitted. Y'all, my allergies is messing up so bad. It's more of a fitted um, blazer. So it comes in and nips you in at the waist. And this one is more of a kind of like boxy, looser, um, relaxed fit. So I definitely get some wear out of this this summer with um, jean shorts, a nice tank top, and just a pair of... Um, double stack sandals i've been loving well not if they're what are they double stack or platforms i have been loving the platform sandals so yeah can't wait to wear this i may wear it can't wear it tonight y'all because it's about 90 something degrees in our area but on one of those cooler days so the next piece i'm not too sure of um maybe a couple of years ago i would have been so in love with this piece but right now, not too sure. And it is this number here. It is a ripped bodycon dress. And this one has the slits up the side of the dress. Um, it's a very lightweight. It's a knit material, a sweater material. But it's in a very lightweight. So you can get away with wearing it now. Now, it does have um, longer sleeves. But if you did want to wear it now, you could kind of scrunch the sleeves up. But like I told you um, in the intro, I have really been looking for um, fall pieces or pieces that I can transition from um, summer to fall. So I was planning on waiting to probably about October to wear this. 
um i loved it because it was rib y'all know i love anything rib and i also loved it because it was peach i have been looking for peach pieces lately i have found a shirt from the thrift store i'm not sure if i'm gonna do a thrift store haul or not but i found a nice peach shirt at the thrift store and i have fell in love with everything peach um since i found that shirt it was just in such a pretty color um and so i picked this up it's a um scoop neck I mean, it's ribbed all the way through, lightweight sweater. It's just the slit for me. The slit is a little too high for my style. Um, like a couple of years ago, I was all for the sexy, the sexy girl in the room, but that's just not me anymore. When I do sexy, I'm doing it more in a conservative way. Now, I thought that this was, was more of a conservative style dress. Now, the model who had this on was a very slender model. So, sometimes things look different on a girl that has curves. I have a lot of curves, a lot of hips. So, it tends to pull at the hip, which makes the slit open up even wider. So, the slit is very, very high. The slit, I'm sorry, I'm saying slip. The slit is very, very high up on my leg. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I'm, well, I'm going to keep this because it was only about $14. So I'm going to keep it. And it's a time and place for everything. So I will find somewhere to wear this. Maybe if it's just date night right now. Me and my husband still do date night at home. Cook a nice dinner. Sit at the table and have us dinner together. Um, but it just depends on how feisty I'm feeling that day. Because I think this would, would, would look cute with a pair of strappy sandals. Um, it would look cute with a meal, a high heel meal. It would look very, very nice with in the, when, the, when the weather breaks with a pair of stiletto over the knee or knee high. Not even over the knee. I wouldn't do over the knee because I would want a portion of the leg hanging out. But it would look nice with a knee-high boot. So, it's options. And I'll find a way to wear, you know, probably throw on a blazer to tone down the sexiness. But I'm going to keep it because it was very cheap. I'll find a way to style it. And maybe when I find that way to style it, I'll showcase it here on my channel. And this is in a size extra large. Extra large was the largest size that this dress came in. Okay, so now it's my basics. Y'all know I love basic pieces, um, tops anyway, that I can throw under my blazers. Um, Y'all know I've been loving crop tops, so I got this pale yellow crop top. I love that this has the sweetheart neckline. Very, very pretty. It is a ribbed um, knit material, um, but it's, it's heavy, but at the same time light. Um, so it's a heavy material which gives you very good quality vibes i am definitely picking this up in the other color they have this in a taupe color so i will be going back to pick this up this was only 9.99 um it's at a reasonable length um of course it's going to show a little bit of midriff with um with high-waisted jeans but it's not going to show a lot it's not as short as that last cross top i showed you with the pretty little thing hole um, so I think it's at an appropriate length. It does have thicker straps where I feel like you may be able to get away with wearing a um, regular bra with it, depending on how thick your bra strap is. But this is looks very, very expensive. This is in an XXL. It, looks, it just looks very chic. Um, I wish you can see it and feel it in person. It's reminiscent to that brown dress that I shown you um, a couple of videos ago that I was raving about, that brown sweater dress. The fabric is reminiscent to that. Very, very heavy, um, but still you can get away with wearing this. I know people. some people feel like sweater in the wintertime. I mean, in the summertime, you, it's a crop top, baby. <laughs> you can get away with wearing it. But I love this. I can wear it with those pale yellow jogger shorts that I have that I love to dress up. Um, I have a pale yellow blazer. Um, you probably can't see it because I have so many blazers through there, but I have a few um, pieces that I can wear with this. I just also picked up this regular white um, tank top. Um, I, I'll be getting the tank tops from um, Target. Yes, Target. That's similar to this. Very similar. 
Um, I think the Target ones may be a little better. I'm just saying I love those Target tank tops. But I love when I saw this one, I decided to pick it up because Target is always sold out of this, this style of tank top. So definitely saw it on H&M, decided to pick it up. This is in an extra large. I think this was only $5.99. Um, it is, I think, cheaper than the Target ones. I think the Target ones are $7.99. Um, but you can't go wrong with the white tank top. I have been noticing that I've been picking up a lot of crop tops, but I haven't been picking up tank tops. And tank tops have always been my staple underneath um, blazers. You can't wear a crop top everywhere. I'm just saying. I love the way a crop top is something high-waisted looks on me. But you can't wear a crop top everywhere. You have to have some good tank tops that you can wear under your blazers for those times when you're going into work on your dress down or casual Fridays. You can't walk in there with a crop top. You can't do a honey, but you can't walk in there with a crop top and a blazer, but you can walk in there with a tank top and a blazer. As long as it's a thicker one and it's not going to show your bra. <laughs> okay, so the next um, thing I'm going to show you is something that I just got in the mail today. The next two pieces I just got in the mail today. And it is this white shirt dress or long line shirt. I don't even think they label it as a shirt dress. It's just a white long line shirt. Um, I had one similar to this that I picked up from New York and Company years ago. Um, I still can fit it, but it's more to me on a snug. It's a little snug on my arms. Um, and I didn't buy for that. I brought it to wear as a loose fitted item that I could wear with jeans. So when I found this one, I thought it was perfect. I think it was only like $19.99 or $24.99, so I knew I had to pick it up. It's in an XXL. It's a very um, light fabric to wear, so you can wear it now, or you can layer it up and wear it in the um, fall or winter. But I'll be wearing it both. Um, now, you can wear it as a dress. It's very long. This is like maxi length. Um, it's very, very long. It buttons all the way down. If you were to wear it as a dress, you would definitely have to wear a slip underneath because it is just a tad bit see-through so you will see your goods so if you plan on wearing it as a dress you definitely will have to wear um some type of slip or you know you could wear maybe some biker shorts and maybe like a bralette or a bra top um with it and i mean a sports bra with it and be okay but i brought this because i plan on wearing it only as a shirt i do not plan on wearing it as a dress um, I actually brought it to wear in the the cooler months with a pair with just a pair of distressed jeans um, and a pair of mules or either a pair of skinny jeans with a stiletto boot, um, knee high boot, or you can wear um, this would be really cute with a pair of flared um, pants, maybe a pair of long black um, flowy pants, almost hit the floor type of pants would look cute with this because it's like. Um, you're wearing um, a dress over top of trousers. So I thought, I love that look. I see it sometimes on H&M, how they do that. They have these long dresses or long um, calf, um, calf tans or shirt dresses and things, and they'll have it over just a pair of flowy um, wide leg pants, and it just be so pretty. Now, I'm not sure if I can pull it over. <laughs> I'm not sure. But um, it's definitely a look. But I do plan on wearing this in the um, fall months with just a pair of stiletto knee boots um, and a pair of skinny jeans or just a pair of maybe ankle crop jeans. Very rugged, very distressed with a pair of mules or um, something of that sort. But I love it. And don't get me wrong, I, I may, I, you know, it may be a day where I will put this on now. But if I wear it now, I would definitely wear it, um, the sleeves scrunched up, um, cinch it in at the waist with a nice belt, um, and just maybe a nice pair of um, distressed cut-off shorts or just a pair of um, cycling um, biker shorts. Last but not least is what I've been waiting for, hunting, and it is this green caftan. It's a short caftan um shirt dress whatever you want to call it this is you know h&m has been killing it this year with the caftans but i haven't picked up any i haven't picked up a lot of the long 
um, shirt dresses, but I haven't picked up any caftans because I had some from last year, and to be honest, I didn't wear them much. Um, I had one now that I actually wear around the house. <laughs> um, and my husband, he don't tend to like me in those type of things, those long, just um, caftan or like type of dresses. He he feels like they look like house dresses. <laughs> so I didn't pick up any this year, this um, season. But I, when I saw this one, I knew it was perfect because I like the feel of just that flowiness, that um, feel like um, airy, just like nothing is really touching the body. I love that feel of comfortability, and I love the style of caftans, but um, when I seen it in the short enough, I said this would be perfect, and I checked with Hubby, and I tried it on, and he loves it. And this color is just so rich, and it is gorgeous on my skin. It is gorgeous on my skin tone. I love it. Now, this um, is short. So you can wear it as a dress. I'm going to wear it both ways. You can wear it as a dress or you can wear it as a shirt. I'm going to do both ways. I feel like as a dress, once you wrap it around the belt and stuff around, is it gives you even a shorter look. Um, I don't feel like it's short enough to wear as though you should be uncomfortable. But me having um, a high butt, <laughs> um, if I bend over, my, my butt is going to be hanging out. Um, so I would only wear this to be honest on vacation when I'm going to like a tropical area or even if I'm not going on vacation if I'm here at home we go to the beach here you know it might not be blue waters <laughs> but we have beaches here so yeah or I may just wear it to a picnic on one of those days where I want to you know feel bougie <laughs> but still want to feel cool on one of those really hot days. I have a pair of green um, um, platforms that is the same color as this, perfect with this, and they are a setting um, type of platform. They will be so cute with this on just one of those um, nice dress up picnic days. Um, and I also wear this with um, a pair of pants, a pair of trousers, um, I'll even color block with this. Y'all seen that I had just picked up a pair of pink trousers from Pretty Little Thing in my last haul. I will wear this over top of that pink, of those pink pants. Um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, just Chef Kiss, Chef Kiss baby. Pink and green, a, a whole little color, color um, block moment will be perfect. So yeah, this has the V, um, you know, how old caftans will just about have that um the the v is not very deep so you don't have to worry about um showing too much if you are a very modest type woman the sleeves are very very flowy um love it and then the belt y'all this is the belt the belt is very very long you can double tie it or triple tie it or you can just um tie wrap it around once or so and then have a longer kind of tie in the front um I like it tied around once and have like a little longer tie hanging in the front. But I just love this. I hope H&M comes out with more um, items in this color. This is in an extra large. This is the largest, largest it goes to. But y'all know it's a caftan, so it's very, very flowy. And this definitely, will, to me, will fit up to a 3X. Because I, I feel like in dresses, um, I'm a 2X. Um, so, yeah, I feel like... This will definitely fit up to a 3X. All right, my loves, that brings me to the end of this video. I have shown you everything that I picked up from H&M. I love absolutely all pieces that I've shown you in this haul. Um, yeah, H&M is just my thing. <laughs> so if you love this video as well, make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you um, leave some comments down below. And make sure you subscribe. All right, my loves.